A belief is any thought, any idea with emotional investment. Faith is any belief that denies proof of evidence. It doesn't require it and actually denies it. To be faithful, which is the conventional term of your saying that I'm faithful to my partner and they're faithful to me. And you imagine that means that you won't cheat on them and they won't cheat on you. So I'm going to invite you to revisit the word faithful and see it in a different way. Now you're wondering, does an open relationship prevent from cheating? It doesn't. And here's why. Every relationship and every couple and every type of relationship has different rules. Now, the only rule for a monogamous relationship is that you don't cheat, which means that you don't see anybody else. You don't have any extramarital affairs. What's, what constitutes cheating for most people, as they imagine it to be conventionally, is extramarital and extra-relational affairs. Now, in an open relationship, since different people practice it different ways, there are many different rules, and for you to cheat, you have to break rules. Now, for myself, in my relationship, I have two rules, two wonderful, amazing primary rules. My first rule is that I will never be any woman's only male sex partner. This is to prevent me and prevent them from being and feeling taken for granted. The only way that you don't take and be and feel taken for granted is if you don't grant yourself to your partner and they don't grant themselves to you. So they, they're not taken as granted and you're not taken as granted. The only way for you to know that they have options is, that, is to give them options, is to know they have options. The only way for, for my partner, my sweetie, to know that I have options because I have many options. And out of all my options, she's my number one option. And she's the person I choose every single time. And it gratifies me knowing that when she's with me, it's because of her choosing to out of all of her options. I will never be any woman's male sex. It doesn't mean that she has to go out there and make out with other guys. It means that when the opportunity arises where she finds somebody cute and yummy and fun and interesting and fascinating, that she won't deny the opportunity to give them a chance. My second rule is she must do her best to get along with my other girlfriends. It just prevents from infighting, prevents from talking shit about each other, starting rumors. It doesn't mean she has to sleep with all of them or get along with all of them. Just don't start rumors, don't infight, and don't cause unnecessary havoc and disharmony in the relationships. Now, of course, I expect that with any mature person, it's very easy to practice. And my rules create more freedom rather than less. That's what rules do. Now, let's revisit the notion of being faithful. Most people imagine originally that being faithful means that I'm faithful to you and she's faithful or my, and my partner is faithful to me. Therefore, we won't cheat on each other. Remember, Belief is any idea which has emotional investment, and faith is any belief which denies proof of evidence. With that in mind, when you redefine being faithful, being faithful to somebody is giving them, when, when you say, I am faithful to my partner, what you're actually saying is, I give my partner the benefit of the doubt that who she is communicating she is to be, or he or she, and who I believe he or she is, and who he or, she, he or she says he or she is, is the same exact person. Meaning, you can trust them. And if they are faithful, to, if your partner is faithful to you, what your partner is saying is that your partner believes and gives you the benefit of the doubt that who you say you are and who you communicate you are to be and who they believe you are to be is the same exact person. You are as they imagine you are to be and they can trust you. I like to say that I trust women to be women. 
I don't trust women to be anything else other than who they are. In order for me to be able to facilitate faithfulness in a relationship, get this. Listen to this and grasp this for yourself and apply it into your relationships. For me to be faithful in my relationships, I need to have faith that who they are and who they say they are and who I believe they are are the same exact things. Meaning, I trust that who they are is exactly who they are. And the only way for me to be able to do that is to facilitate open communication. It's to facilitate non-judgmental acceptance. In essence, they can feel that they can be themselves around me. And when they, are, when they feel that they can be themselves around me, then I can have faith that who they are and who they say they are and who I believe they are to be is the same exact person. So here's my call to action to you. The ne- here's the next steps for you. Number one is read my book on Relationships 101. It's titled Relationships 101. If you go to Amazon and search Roan John, you'll find it. The second thing is evaluate your relationships and communicate to your partner if you have a partner or evaluate it for yourself what you'd like if you don't have a partner yet, what you'd like to have in your relationship. And be able to, when the opportunity arises, communicate that with your partner, communicate the rules and what cheating is in that relationship. And so you know exactly what cheating is. And, and really pay attention to the difference between closed relationship and open relationship. The only way you can believe your partner, you can trust your partner to be the person who they are, when you can trust them to be women and trust them to be men, is if you are in open relationship in which there is open communication. This cannot occur in a closed relationship. Why? Because in a closed relationship, you cannot have open communication. There are some people who could. There are some people. For most, most people, it doesn't happen because humans did not evolve to be monogamous. And so there are secret desires and secret lies that always occur in a monogamous relationship. And that's my call to action to you. To support this video, support my channel, click the like and share this video with other people and comment below what you think about being faithful and what you think about belief and what you think about faith. And I'd love to talk about that in the comments. And share this video with other people and subscribe to my channel. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.